Today is one of the biggest shopping days of the year. The National Retail Federation projecting that over 130 million people are expected to shop today. But with the current consumer climate, climate consumers pulling back on spending, how much money should we expect shoppers to actually spend? We want to bring in Tom McGee. He's ICSC's CEO joining us now. Tom, it's great to see you. So the trends that you've seen so far this holiday season over the last several weeks, how does that set us up then heading into uh, the holiday season, heading into de to December? Yeah, well, good morning. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving day. Uh, our expectation for the overall holiday season is 3.8% growth. We expect a very uh, a very strong uh, Thanksgiving Day weekend, uh, $130 billion spent, about 4% more than last year. 80% uh, of people will shop uh, today on Black Friday. 81% will shop on Cyber Monday. Uh, but the, the consumer will uh, continue to be very focused upon uh, inflation, the impact of inflation, of uh, looking for promotions that uh, speaks to the importance of days like today, Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday, and looking forward to Super Saturday, which are those big shopping days where retailers tend to lean into promotions. So overall, you know, the same trends we've experienced over the last 12 months or so, which is the consumer has been resilient in the face of inflation. Uh, but but a little more sensitive and looking for promotions. You know, 70% of consumers will look for promotions and that will dictate a lot of what they buy this holiday season. How critical of a holiday shopping season is this for department stores and, and malls, quite frankly, Tom? Many of them who have been in focus because of the changing foot traffic or volume that these shopping centers had seen for decades now starting to peter out or at least start to matriculate over to some digital shopping that we've seen as, deal, as deals get thrust forward there in a more direct-to-consumer environment. How critical of a shopping season is this for some of those operators of these larger kind of square footage uh, retail spaces? Well, you know, this, this, the holiday season is always super important to retail, uh, for sure. And particularly this period from Black Friday heading into, into Christmas itself. And so I don't think this year is any different than the past in that regard. Um, the, the one thing that's happened over the course of the last decade or so is the holiday season has become longer. Um, we look at the holiday season at ICSC as really beginning in, in October, extending through the end of December, uh, because people do shop earlier now. And particularly in the face of inflation, they're looking for promotions, whether that's in October, November, and December. I do think this particular year, um, you know, with with consumer sensitivity around pricing uh, being at a, its most heightened level over the course since you know for the last decade or so, that the next the next month or so will be you know, will be quite important because the consumer is looking for promotions right now. Do you expect promotional activity to pick up as we get closer to Christmas? I do. I, I do. I think that uh, you know. I think retailers understand uh, that the consumer is very price conscious. Uh, and you've heard a number of retail uh, CEOs come out and talk about, you know, the intention of uh, looking at, uh, at promotions to entice consumer behavior. So I do expect that to be the case. Tom, also here, when, when we think about the, the spend profile for consumers at this point in time, I mean, we're, we're looking at a vastly different mindset for some consumers who especially are on the lower income household side here too, who perhaps have been feeling like they've been in a recession going into this holiday season and, and, and months before that. So how do we expect that to in impact the kind of overall um, sales that are seen, but also where other classes, the middle class particularly, as, as we had spoken with the JP Morgan CEO and Chairman Jamie Dimon, who had said the middle class might be next in that. Does that change the, the consumer sentiment vastly, and does that kind of protrude into 2024 from your perspective and estimation? Well, I think I think a couple trends are happening, right? I think, you know, many of the things that we're going to experience during this holiday season into 2024, we've already seen begin. Um, you know, the consumer is price conscious. Mm -hmm. And so if they're price conscious, they're going to look more towards discount retailers, discount department stores. And so I think that will continue. Uh, and will probably broaden uh, the population that, of people that look for deals and for discounts. Uh, but I do think as long as the, uh, you know, we're at historically low uh, unemployment rates, as long as the labor market continues to be strong, the consumer will continue to be resilient. Um, uh, because if you have a job, you tend to have confidence in your, you, you, your, your, 
your spending will continue. If we start to see some erosion uh, in the employment market, I think that could have a more significant impact upon retail sales. But in the absence of that, I expect retail sales to continue to be in that you know strong rate, solid rate through the end of the holiday season and into 2024.